So preparing uh, the jugular vein, we like to get the jugular as clean as possible. We do it at least three times with betadine and alcohol, so we get a nice clean area for uh, our vena puncture. After preparing the jugular, I go ahead and put sterile uh, gloves on for harvesting the blood. We have to remember we're working with a blood product and we want to be as clean as possible at all times. The IRAP2 system comes in a box where the inside is sterile. You have your assistant pull up from this corner without putting their hands in the side. We go ahead and get the syringe and your needle. So we go ahead and attach this to the syringe and then we go ahead and do our vena puncture. What we want to do is keep the jugular distended during the whole process so that the needle doesn't suck up on the side of the jugular vein. And we also draw the blood out at a reasonable but not fast rate. We want to be conscious of not uh, causing hemolysis. You just remove the needle, hold off the jugular for a while so we don't get a hematoma. Then we go ahead and transfer the blood from the syringe into the IRAP2 device. The injection of the blood goes through the red top. It's nice to have this keeper so you won't drop your red top on the floor. And what we want to do is on this angle, gently and slowly inject the blood into the device. There's a little bevel that will encourage the blood to go right to the side of the tube instead of going all the way down the tube. Again, a little safety mechanism so we don't get hemolysis. As we get near the top, there's a max fill line, and that's where I go to. Put the red top back on, and then gently rock it once or twice. So after blood harvest, we go into the incubator with the red top down, and we incubate for 16 to 22 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, so after we incubate for our required time, we go into the centrifuge and we place it into the IRAP rotor and we always use a counterbalance. Well, we go ahead and close this, make sure this is clipped down and it's been preset for 4,000 RPMs at 10 minutes. Push start and our product will be ready in 10 minutes. Okay, so after the 10 minutes, we take our product out of the centrifuge. We'll be very careful not to shake it, invert it, so that we don't interfere with the serum and red blood cell bed. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and harvest the serum. Make sure we alcohol the top. We get either a 20 or a 30 ml syringe, and we get a three and a half inch spinal needle. And go ahead and introduce the needle, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch from the red blood cell bed so I don't interfere with pulling any red blood cells up. I'm going to come on out. In this case, we got about 15 ml, 16. Go ahead and to hook up a millipore filter, a needle, and I introduce it into the individual aliquots of 4 cc's. So we do this for as many doses as we get. Looks like in this case we'll get about four doses. We go ahead and cap them. We use them at the point of care, or we go ahead and freeze them, and when you can freeze them up to one year.